Elistochalorics is an emerging field of study within solid state physics that deals with the phenomenon of temperature changes in materials under elastic deformation. This effect, known as the elistochaloric effect, occurs when certain materials undergo a temperature change as a result of mechanical stress such as stretching, compressing, or twisting. This temperature change is due to the reversible phase transitions that the materials experience under stress. The elastochaloric effect is analogous to the more well-known magnetochaloric and electrochaloric effects where materials exhibit a temperature change in response to an external magnetic or electric field respectively. In elastochalorics, the external stimulus is mechanical stress or strain. When a material exhibiting the elastochaloric effect is stretched or compressed, it undergoes a reversible phase transformation from one crystal structure to another. This transformation absorbs or releases latent heat, leading to a temperature change. The key characteristics of the elastochaloric effect include adiabatic temperature change. This is the change in temperature of the material under adiabatic, no heat exchange with the environment conditions. Isothermal entropy change, the change in entropy at a constant temperature when the material is subjected to mechanical stress. Materials that exhibit significant elastochloric effects typically undergo a martensitic phase transformation, a change in the crystal structure that is reversible and can be induced by mechanical stress. The most studied materials with elastochloric properties are 1. Shape, memory, alloys, SMAs. These materials, like nickel titanium, NITI, exhibit large elastochloric effects due to their ability to undergo reversible martensitic transformations. The temperature change in these materials can be substantial, making them promising candidates for cooling applications. 2. Superelastic materials. Certain superelastic materials, such as Kuzian Al, FEPD, and Nimenin, also show a notable elastochaloric effect as they can undergo reversible phase transformations upon the application of stress. 3. Elastomers and Polymers Recent studies suggest that some elastomers and polymers may also exhibit elastochaloric effects, though generally to a lesser extent than shape memory alloys. The primary application area for elastochalorics is in solid-state cooling technologies where the elastochaloric effect can be harnessed for cooling and heat pump systems. These technologies are considered potential alternatives to conventional vapor compression cooling systems, which rely on refrigerants that can be harmful to the environment. Some key applications include, one, refrigeration and air conditioning. Elastochaloric cooling systems could provide efficient and environmentally friendly alternatives to traditional refrigeration and air conditioning technologies. They promise higher efficiency with zero global warming potential since they do not use harmful refrigerants. Two, elastochaloric materials can be used for thermal management in microelectronic devices where localized cooling is needed, such as in CPUs, GPUs, and other high-performance computing equipment. Three, heat pumps. Elastochaloric materials can be used in heat pump applications for heating or cooling environments more efficiently than traditional systems. 4. Wearable cooling devices. Elastochaloric materials are being explored for use in personal cooling devices, which could be lightweight, energy efficient, and adaptable to various body parts. Despite the promising potential, there are several challenges associated with elastochalorics. Repeated mechanical cycling can lead to material fatigue, reducing the lifespan and reliability of elastochaloric materials. Developing materials 
with high fatigue resistance is a critical area of ongoing research. Designing efficient elastocaloric cooling systems that can harness the temperature changes effectively is a significant engineering challenge. It involves optimizing the heat exchange mechanisms and mechanical stress application methods. While laboratory scale elastocaloric devices have shown promise, scaling up these devices for practical applications such as household refrigeration or industrial cooling remains a challenge. Shape memory alloys and other advanced materials used in elastocalorics can be expensive and cost-effective manufacturing techniques need to be developed for commercial viability. Recent research has focused on scientists are working on discovering and synthesizing new alloys that exhibit stronger elastocaloric effects with better durability and lower costs. Efforts are underway to improve the designs of elastocaloric cooling devices such as optimizing the mechanical loading cycles and developing new methods for heat exchange. Research is also focused on understanding the fundamental mechanisms underlying the elastocaloric effect, particularly at the atomic and molecular levels. This knowledge can lead to the development of materials with enhanced elastocaloric properties. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch up with you in another exciting video soon. Until then, goodbye and take care.